this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here today with a one layer clean simple card using the February 2021 kit of the month. This is uh, just some fun ink blending and some of the fun images and a sentiment from this kit. I love all those little clouds and that little um, raindrop stamp and some of the sentiments were super encouraging and I just thought it would be fun to make a card that kind of utilize those. So. I'm gonna be ink blending and stamping directly on my A2 card base. I'm gonna section out um, a part in the center and this is where I'm gonna do the ink blending to stamp over the sides. I'm using post-it tape and the best way I found just to get that square is to put it on so it's just slightly overlapping and turn it over from the back and you can kind of see that I just put it on all sides so it was slightly overlapping. You can kind of feel that as you go along. Now I'm using some pink fresh inks to do my ink blending. Um, any of them, distress inks work really well for this. Any inks that you have that are great for blending uh, will work really well for this. I kind of went with sort of the colors that you see in the sky, kind of a peachy tone color and then a, a little bit of an aqua tone and blended uh, that peach color at the bottom, kind of like where the horizon would be, kind of where you'd see the sun and then went with the blue across the top, kind of blending it together in the center. I'm using life-changing blender brushes. Again, feel free to use whatever your favorite um, form of blending is. And I have a glass mat there. You might notice me uh, rolling my brush on the mat there. That's kind of picking up extra ink. All right, now I can peel that tape off. Make sure your fingers are clean when you do this. I've smudged more white card spaces than I care to admit um, when I get to this point. All right, now I'm gonna use my Misty to line up and stamp these. And I'm just kind of playing with where I wanna line up. I love that there's three clouds and they're all slightly different sizes. It kind of just gives you some fun possibilities with this. I forgot to take out my foam pad in my Misty, so I'm gonna remove that and then reapply it down with a magnet. And now I'm using a couple different grays to do the clouds in the sky. I'm starting with a darker gray to do those clouds. Look at that fun texture on those, isn't that fun? I love just the designs on those as well. All right, and you might've noticed I overlapped that stenciled area. I um, did that on purpose because this kind of adds some movement to the card, but that little um, sectioned off blended area kind of added kind of an anchor to the front of this card as well. All right, now I'm stamping with a lighter colored gray ink, those little um, raindrops. <laughs> I started to put them there and realized, oh, I've got raindrops going sideways. It's a windy day. so. I readjusted there and fixed it and kind of fiddled around till I was happy with my placement. I didn't want them coming directly out of the center of the clouds. I almost didn't put it on that bottom cloud. I kind of started to, and then I wasn't gonna, then I decided to add it and kind of overlap it. So I didn't, I didn't mask it off, but I tried to only ink the bottom. I didn't worry about a little bit showing as it um, kind of, the ink dries, it kind of blends in and you can't really tell, um, but it added a little bit of a different look to that. All right, now we're gonna add the sentiment right over the top of all of that. I did the clouds with gray ink so I could stamp it in black over the top and that's gonna still show up nice on that background, but I love doing it. You've kind of created your own background and you can put that sentiment right over the top. All right, now just to make that center portion pop a little bit more, you just need a black marker for this. I like using a fine line Sharpie. Um, <laughs> excuse that little blip there, our power blinked and uh, the lights went out for just a second. I forgot to edit that out. Um, but I'm just using a ruler and going slightly outside that stenciled area with my fine line Sharpie. Again, any black pen, I just know the Sharpie is gonna be uh, nice and permanent um, and last really well. And the fine line works really well for what I'm doing. So as you could see, nothing super fancy. I just used that ruler to keep it all lined up nice and even. Decided to add a touch of sparkle to this. So I've got just some clear sparkly Nouveau drops. Um, these will dry, they look a little um, opaque as you put them on, but they dry to where it's just a clear bit of sparkle on there, which is the perfect uh, little bit of a touch on there to um, make this card even more happy and encouraging with those soft colors. Um, and then that little bit of sparkle, it just makes it a little bit happier. I'm gonna set that aside to dry, and then I decided to add one more little touch, that little tiny heart from this month's kit. And I lined it up there on the bottom. It just looked like there was a hole and it needed something more. So I'm using the exact same ink I had blended across the bottom, stamping it. Um, I ended up doing it three times just to make sure it was on there nice and um, well so that you could see it. And I felt like that was the perfect little happy touch that card needed. All right, thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.